The Negative Effect of Cell Phones on Children There is not one child in the modern world who doesn't know how to use a phone, a tablet, or even a computer. We're so interconnected in this era that it's considered a necessity to have knowledge of these things. That's why many children use technology from a young age, especially the smartphone. Phones might have advantages in a child's development, but let's focus on how they harm kids. Children are beings that are growing continuously, mentally, and physically. They need to learn from the environment and their surroundings. There has been extensive research over the years to actually understand how these little beings learn. One of the most respected theories was proposed by Jean Piaget. He was the first person to study a child's brain development. His theory explains that learning is a mental process that requires identifying concepts based on biology and experiences. Children's brains grow and function in similar patterns over a course of four stages. Children need to experience the world around them, which is why face-to-face -face interactions are the primary ways for them to gain knowledge. Dr. Jenny Radinsky of Boston Medical Center noticed that smartphones and electronics were interfering with parental bonding and affection. Screen time takes away a lot from children since they learn about their emotions and how to regulate them by reading people's facial expressions. And if they're not looking at the person they're talking to, what are they even learning? An experiment was done between computer-savvy adults and those with minimal technology experience. After a few days, the inexperienced group started showing the same brain activity as the other group. Screen time had rewired their brain to neglect circuits that control more traditional methods of learning. Smartphones also affect a child's communication skills. If they rely on it for communication too much, their social skills might weaken and they might become detached from others' feelings. That's not all though. Any form of media thematic blue light mimics daylight. This confuses the internal body clocks of both children and adults and it can mess up anyone's circadian rhythm. One study even found out that infants and toddlers who watched TV had more irregular sleep patterns. So if your child is having trouble falling asleep, even staying asleep, it's time to reduce their screen time. Any electronics shouldn't be used one to three hours before bedtime. Instead, ask your kid to read a book or read to them. Did you know that in the early 1900s, less than 5% of children in the US were thought to have ADHD? In the following two decades, this figure increased to about 11%. This rapid increase is linked to the sociological changes that the internet and mobile phones have on kids. Children with ADHD can be given medication, but those who don't even show any signs of the disorder should still have very strict limits on screen time. Moreover, the internet is full of depressing matters and things kids really shouldn't be exposed to. This unneeded exposure can greatly affect their minds. So in conclusion, as a parent, it's your responsibility to balance their screen time so that they grow up smart and healthy.